we bought a house. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. We bought a house. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you might not know. We bought a house in Vermont and I filmed a couple videos here. You might have noticed it was a different backdrop, different kitchen, kitchens behind me. And today I thought I would do a house tour. So I'm going to do a separate video about Q and A and like everything like that. Um, but the number one question that I get asked about this house is if we were moving here full time, the answer is no, we bought this as a second home for us. I mean, we don't have another primary home at the moment, but we live in New York city and we really wanted to invest in Vermont because I grew up here. We went to college here and it's just such an amazing place to come visit. And we weren't ready to move here quite full time. So we're just excited to have a house here that we can come visit. And it's also been a great option for us to rent out when we're not here. So we do Airbnb it when we're not here. And as you'll see, as we go throughout the house, this house is surrounded by trees and it's just so awesome to be in nature when we come up here. And the best part is it's only three hour drive from New York City. So it's easy for us to get up here and Trevi loves it here. <laughs> She's sleeping behind me. Trevi, hi. <laughs> so yeah, I thought we would just do a kind of casual house tour, show you around, show you how we've laid it out and if you have any questions you can drop those down in the comments and i'll do a separate video about like q a and everything like that so this is just the house tour and then i think i mentioned this in one of my other videos but matt and i are going to be starting a second channel that's going to be talking about the process of starting an airbnb running an airbnb um kind of like the finances behind it and then i think we'll also just kind of start talking a little bit about business entrepreneurship personal finance and stuff like that so it's going to be a fun kind of new outlet for me creatively and i'm going to be able to talk about stuff that i love talking about and hopefully teach you guys and i'll also be able to bring him in to the content a little bit more which is really exciting so i will definitely let you know when that channel launches we haven't started filming yet for it but we plan to, and hopefully you enjoy some of those videos as well. So without further ado, let's get into the house tour. Okay, so we are starting at the front door, Matt's standing at the front door, and behind me is basically our open concept kitchen, dining, living room. So I'm gonna first show you the kitchen. The kitchen did not come with this island. We actually bought this island at Ikea and installed it. It just kind of sits on the floor like it's movable. Um, and it's so great. It really added to the space a ton. It has open shelving here and then it has seating on the back. But we love this kitchen. It has great storage. It's really great for cooking. There's a lot of counter space. Um, obviously, like all the appliances are over on this side. We've got open shelving and it's been a really great way to kind of like cook and enjoy. Um, the green cabinets, people always ask about the green cabinets. Those came green. So I don't know the exact color, but they add like a nice little Vermont feel to the house. And we love all the wood in the house as well. It just kind of makes it this woodsy kind of cozy house. One of the things that we wanted to make sure we did was have a nice little coffee and tea station. So we have a coffee pot, our tea cup maker. We provide coffee and sugar. We have all of our mugs. And then down here we have extra coffee filters, everything like that. So when guests do come, they can be sure to be stocked up on coffee. I wanna just show you what this island looks like on this side. So we got a bunch of pottery plates and bowls. These actually all came from Amazon. And then this set of cookware came from TJ Maxx, which is awesome. And so basically we have the open shelving over there. And then on this side, hi little girl, we have two little bar stools, which actually came from Walmart. And this just, like I said, com totally completes the space. This island is so awesome. Absolutely love it. So glad we bought it. So behind you is the kitchen and now we're kind of facing the dining room and the living room is over there. One of the things that we absolutely fell in love with this house is the windows. So you can see how giant the windows are. They are, they bring in so much sunlight. They are just awesome. You can see mountains across. There's snow covered trees right now. We're able to fit a really large dining table in here. And then if you look up, it's all 
open with these giant beams across, which really gives it that kind of like cabiny feel and we love it. So that's the dining room. Now I'm just gonna quickly show you the living room. What's great about the living room is that it is really centered around the fireplace. The fireplace unfortunately is not usable at the moment. We are installing a little gas stove that's gonna go in there because gas is just a lot easier to use than wood. And since we are gonna be having renters from time to time, we wanted to make something as easy to use as possible. So we're really excited to have that. And we love this giant sectional. This actually came with the house, which is awesome. It's also a sleeper sofa, so there it can be pulled out and used as a sleeper. We also have a cute little dog. <laughs> you guys have seen her a bajillion times. And then one of the other things that we bought for this room on Overstock, I believe, is this awesome bookshelf. It's an open bookshelf. This is what I call a West Elm dupe. And this reminds me of a shelf they sell at West Elm but we love this because it has this lower cabinet and we can store games and puzzles and some of our like electronics, like the Wi-Fi extender and everything like that. So this is just a really beautiful open concept room. I love open concept living. I love that you can kind of sit and talk to somebody that's cooking in the kitchen. You can work at the table and you can be in the kitchen in five seconds and it just makes it really homey and welcoming. So we, really are so happy with this space. So now we're gonna go down the hallway and see the first two bedrooms and the bathroom. So quick pause in today's video to tell you about today's video sponsor. As you can see, I am back at our apartment in New York City. And the reason I wanted to share today's sponsor is because I feel like it pairs perfectly with the video. So today we are talking about Robinhood. And if you've never heard of Robinhood, it is an online platform designed to help make investing easy and more approachable. And one of the things that I think that Matt and I did really well that kind of set us up for success in order to buy and purchase our first home is by investing investing in the stock market and putting some of our money in the stock market to help it grow so that we could end up affording to buy our house in Vermont. So if you are interested in learning more about Robinhood, I do have a link below. And just as an FYI, it is an affiliate link. So if you do choose to sign up through that link, I get a small commission. And again, it just like helps support me and helps me continue to create all of this free content that you get to watch on YouTube. With Robinhood, you can invest in stocks, options, and ETFs all with no commission fee. Sign up with my link in the description and get your first stock for free. Other fees and limitations apply. See the description for more details. And with that, let's get back to our house tour. So off from the kitchen is a stairwell, which takes you downstairs, but this is gonna be the hallway that goes to two of the bedrooms and one of the full bathrooms. So in here, is the bathroom and I'll just do a little pan that you can see and then back here we have two bedrooms we have queen size beds in both bedrooms this room is I don't know what we call it we don't really have names for the rooms yet but I love this room it's so warm and really relaxing I have kind of like a mountain theme going on light blue and gray and we actually didn't really have to furnish the top floor um, we the Basically all we had to do was add decorations in here. The mattresses and beds and everything like that were included. So that was a really good plus. So now we'll go in this bedroom. This bedroom, I initially did not like this bedroom. I really did not like the dark blue ceiling, but we have really lightened it up and I've just come to really like this bedroom a lot. I think it's really cute. I love the kind of shelves that it's got over there. It's got kind of like a woodsy vibe but we wanted to keep all of the decorations really light so that it didn't feel dark when you were in here. And we bought this big dresser so that people can kind of move in, which is really what we want to do when people come is we really want them to feel at home. This is a really nice bedroom. So now let's go downstairs. Okay, we're gonna go downstairs. Downstairs, there is a mudroom, two more bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms and a laundry room. So they finished this space when we bought it. They, the previous owners, this was unfinished space, so they finished it all. And it was basically a blank slate for us. So we could totally design and decorate it how we wanted. The first thing that we did was create this mudroom. And this was really just an empty space when we moved in. And it wasn't quite big enough to turn it into like a big game room or anything like that. We really wanted people to be able to come in, dump their boots, dump their skis, you know, just feel like they could just like unload all of their stuff and not have to like bring it all over the house. 
So one of the things that we did in this room, which I love, is the wall back here. So this looks like a wallpaper, but it's actually wall decals that I bought on Etsy, and they're just like little stickers, and Matt and I just randomly put them all over the wall, and it kind of gives it this really kind of cool, a little bit modern wallpaper. And then we also built this kind of built-in um, contraption thing. There's a local wood store here in Manchester and we were able to kind of buy these little cubes. We stained them and we bought the pegs and kind of built this little makeshift cubby hole with little cubbies and hooks and it's basically just a nice place for people to again dump their stuff after a long day of adventures. From here we walk into the first bedroom down here which is a twin bedroom. This is kind of a a little bit of a funny shaped room and we initially wanted to do bunk beds in here but we decided that the walls and windows it was just a little bit too our ceilings and windows it just didn't really work to have bunk beds so we put two twin beds in here we put a nice dresser and mirror and it ended up just being kind of like a really nice calming room we have these really cool barn doors which is a nice feature it kind of makes this house feel a little bit rustic but it also helps with space so that you don't have um, doors opening like this because this is a pretty thin hallway so on this side is the laundry room and then right here is a cute little powder room so this is a really small bathroom but it's really cute um, it has just a little toilet and again I had some of the extra wall decals, so I added them to the wall there, and then I installed that floating shelf. And then lastly is the main bedroom. This is what we would call like the primary bedroom, and it has a nice king-size bed. We are getting an avocado mattress for this bed, which I am so excited about. Um, this is not it, but it's coming in a couple weeks, so that's gonna be really exciting. And then we, around the corner, we have obviously a nice big dresser, and we also wanted to make sure that we included a dedicated workspace in this house. So in case either us, if we're here for an extended period of time, we were here for almost two months and Matt used this a fair amount for working and kind of having his own space. But if somebody else wants to come and work out of this house, they can have a nice little desk. And then finally is our amazing primary bathroom. The previous owners did this and they honestly did a really beautiful job. We have a nice standing shower. We have a beautiful soaking tub. We have a nice vanity. The only thing I wish they did is had double sinks, but it's fine as is. They have a really nice slate floor in here. And it's just a really nice, serene, kind of spa-like bathroom. I actually have yet to take a bath in there, but it looks beautiful. <laughs> We're really happy with how this whole bathroom turned out. And obviously this whole like suite back here, it, we wanted it to feel really, not luxurious, but like a little bit higher end than some of the stuff that you might see traditionally on Airbnbs or in like ski cabins. So I think that we were really able to achieve that with this house and people have loved this space down here. So we really love it. So that pretty much does it for the house tour. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any specific questions about furniture or links or anything like that, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to include them. Pretty much everything we bought online, so I probably can link it for you. Um, a lot of Target, a lot of Wayfair, a lot of Overstock, and definitely some Amazon. So if you need any links, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this house tour. You'll be seeing this house a lot in videos so definitely now you know cute little kitchen that's why you have seen that kitchen so much so i hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you did and again when we do launch our next channel i will let you know so you can come subscribe and learn more about the business of running an airbnb and also buying a house and the business of vlogging and everything like that so if you have any suggestions or types of content that you'd like to see you could also drop those down in the comments below as well so thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye